You too, Stella, no matter how much you feel you were right saying that rubbish, you should apologize. Because a lot of people right now don't have the opportunities you have. Some people have been left with nothing by their parents. No channel please subscribe so that each time i upload videos you will be notified that gala wapa z are possible car video thank you thank you so much for more than seventy thousand subscribers hey i'm so blessed to have you guys coming to my youtube channel i know of late i've been having lots of live streams because we had a lot of issues we had to tackle and you guys normally enjoy me talking about things like this. So I have to make sure I keep you updated with what's going on in Africa or Zambia. So in this video, I'll be talking about Stella Sata. The lead president, Michael Chilufia Sata, had a daughter uh, with his girlfriend. And the daughter that was born is Stella Sata. Now, the reason why I've made that statement is because of what I will read. Um, she mentions that. So that you, would, you wouldn't be wondering, how can she be the president's daughter? And she's saying this. Wasn't the president married? Yes, he was married. But Stella Sata was born from a relationship between the president. By then, he was not a president and his girlfriend. Okay. So... We had a protest a few days ago. If you've watched my videos, you will see that we had a protest. It was online. When the protest was online, uh, our celebrities that were in the forefront uh, were, were among them, were part of the protest. And they were leading the protest and the protest was in the bush. Simply because our government whoever is in charge, the Minister of Home Affairs, Mr. Campion, sent so many trucks, so many vans of police across Zambia, especially Lusaka. And people were in fear. They were fearful. So a decision was made that the protest should be online. So they made the protest online and the videos have had lots of views. And Stella Sutter decided to mock the protest. Now you see, Stella Sutter was born privileged. <laughs> she has no issues. She's never struggled. She doesn't even know what it means to struggle because her father was already in politics. He was comfortable. He was a member of parliament. He was already somebody. And when she mocked what was going on, I thought she was very insensitive. In fact, she mocked this man, Michael Zulu, who is a respectable musician. And he said on his Facebook page, the reason why I'm protesting is not because of me, but because of my children. And she mocked him. She asked about his age. What was he doing? Where is his music anyway? Who even knows him these days? And the disgruntled youths of Zambia attacked her. They didn't spare her. And she kept on posting and sharing and sharing on her posts. And this particular post was even shared on Mwebantu Media. So Stella Sata wrote, Youths are angry. But don't 
know what they are angry with. You are all keyboard warriors. The same people that castigated Chela now stand with him, yet only on social media. When you were supposed to protest for Chela, you didn't show up. He's still in jail. Now, let me stop there. You see how ignorant she is? Who says we were protesting for Chela Tukota? For how long have I been speaking about some of the inequalities in Zambia? Why would the youths of Zambia rise up to be protesting over Chela? Aren't we supposed to be protesting over the human rights being infringed? Speech being infringed? And we complaining about the gold mines in Zambia. Youth unemployment, healthcare, and the education system and corruption and how funds just get allocated to places that don't even exist like the pharmacy and then she makes such a stupid statement this is former president daughter or is it late president's daughter that is supposed to stand for the Zambian youths that are fighting for their rights because she's untouchable. She is a figure. And even the current government, the political party was her father's party. So if she stands against them, she has obviously some form of protection. And she made such a statement because she's never seen poverty. She's never had to sit on the floor like some of the Zambian people. She's never had to pay for so many bills. Even the house she lives in is her father's house, her late father's house. She, she doesn't even know how it feels to pay rent. And she talks like this. Let me carry on. Today you didn't show up when b -Flo went to State House. Um, you came at, at him because your anger is only evident behind your screens. Yes, we had every right to be angry at Biflo because he went to the state house alone without any other youth. The protest was a united protest. A few celebrities came together and those who were planning the protest, who arranged it and the celebrities jumped on, they were part of it. But Biflo went alone. Only him. And the people who were there in State House know what happened. We don't. Okay? Okay. She adds, Manje ine nilibe nantau ya ivo. In South Stone phase me, meaning she doesn't have time. I'm broke. Okay, so... Because people called her all sorts of names. They called her broke. Sata brought this mess. Okay, so meaning she was a child born out of an affair. So people were calling her a mess. I have a sp silver spoon in my mouth. Okay, so next come at me with something I don't already know. Now, there is a part that has been edited. <laughs> on this particular post she talked about how she is born out of uh, an illegitimate relationship or whatever she did talk about that and i think more to media edited that part because i saw the post i read it next come at me with something different uh the youth protest was well again was a well organized flop she called it a flop it was a joke, well planned on Facebook and not anywhere else. I said it. Use your energy. You used to insult me to regroup, to re-strategize. Instead of one sick, to add shishwa, meaning insults we all know. But only fools use insults to cause injury because they can't form an argument. Good night. Now, part of the 
comment or post was she talked about her husband um her husband beats her up and according to those who follow her i don't follow her i used to follow her but i don't because i don't find her inspiring i even said it on facebook i don't find her inspiring i'm sorry if you were born with a silver spoon you think everything is easy there are people who've had to work so hard in life that when they speak you can see that they hustled but this one she talks like a, a sport child you know and i made a statement on my facebook page to say look she should have just shut up she should have kept quiet and wait for the youth to do what they have to do and maybe talk on another day but also she should have kept quiet like the way the current president's daughter tasila lungu is quiet she has not said a word but stella wants to be relevant she wants people know, to know that she exists and she said the wrong things. Your father, Stella Sutter, fought for the freedom of Zambians, for certain rights. He was a hustler. His audio that is on my YouTube channel, he even says it, that he went to prison because he wanted the best for Zambia. And you type that rubbish. And guess what? The Zambian youth attacked you. They said, are you truly a breed of Sata? Because a Sata child should be one that fights for the rights of the Zambian people. And not one that cast castigates Zambians. That talks anyhow. And wants to demean the efforts. So you wanted blood all over look at this van here that was deployed in town look at the police that were ready to attack so you would have been happy that people's lives are taken away and for the fact that zambia is a young generation where the life expectancy is young 35 40 that's the life expectancy so the youth of Zambia make up the majority of the Zambian population. So if they were killed, who's going to take over Zambia? We need to wait for babies. And then we'll have more and more old people in parliament. Meaning we are going nowhere. And I said it on my Facebook page as well. I said, look, let's just protest online. Do videos. Share videos. What matters is you send your message and the Republican president of Zambia will hear your message. And she mocks the people that protested. So this is a young girl who is a financial consultant and owns a beggar queen company that has never known what suffering is. I thought she was out of place and she needs to apologize. Zambia is an apologetic nation. When you make a mistake, you have to apologize. If the mayor can apologize for doing right, you too, Stella, no matter how much you feel you were right saying that rubbish, you should apologize. Because a lot of people right now don't have the opportunities you have. Some people have been left with nothing by their parents. No inheritance, no house. You are living in your father's house and you talk rubbish. And obviously, for you to be where you are, it's the opportunities of your name, Sata. You've grabbed those opportunities because of your name. It's not fair. And would you blame the youths that attacked you? And then the youths went to the husband's post. They attacked him. In fact, they were petting him like, please beat your wife for us please tiger lion catch the lioness for us because she has said it apparently in some statements that she has been beaten up before by the husband and she she enjoys it it's okay she accepts that you know being beaten up is normal and then somebody 
commented with a comment that made me just open my mouth and say, what is going on? So one of the comments were that, by the way, your husband's side chick is pregnant. These are disgruntled youths, according to Boma Nusambu. These are youths who are frustrated, who don't have opportunities. And then you insult them. You, you say the protest was a flop. When the protest was shared on BBC News, when the protest was being watched worldwide with more than 3 million impressions, you can't insult the efforts of people just because you've been born with opportunities. And therefore, I don't support your message. You can do better. Try and say something about what's going on. Previously, Stella Sata has said that graduates just want jobs to be given to them. They can sell tomatoes. Even the same tomatoes, are they free? Who will give them? It's all about the capital. Somebody needs a capital in order for them to start a business. So it's good for you to suggest things, but the know-how can be due. The way you talk is very important. You talk down on people. You think people are useless. They don't think. And yet majority of the youths who are jobless right now are more intelligent than you. Are more intelligent than half of the cabinet now. And then you speak like that. A young man, Tom, that I salute. The guy is intelligent. I'm sharing his video here. Listen to the way he speaks. But he has no opportunity. And you run such rubbish. Zambia is not for you. Zambia is for everybody. And all we ask for is for the current government to give the youth of Zambia an opportunity for them to be empowered. For as long as they're in power now, they need to wake up and help us. And whatsoever governments come in, whatsoever political parties take over the next government, they should consider the youths. And we want 60% of the youths working with government, and I mean great positions like in parliament, working as ministers. Because we can't be having very mature people, elderly people, working in parliament, working for the government, working as ministers. And yet the young people are wasting away. You call them keyboard champions? Yes, there will be keyboard champions because there's no opportunity for them. There will be keyboard champions because they are frustrated and they can at least relieve their frustration there. We've seen Chinese people selling beer, Chinese beer. They've come in, invested, and they are selling Chinese beer. Whilst a Zambian has no opportunity even to start beer, they go and buy that same beer to get drunk. So it's better they are on Facebook frustrated than taking alcohol. And it gives them problems like you know, alcoholism or mental health conditions. Never undermine people. Today you may be comfortable, tomorrow things will change. And always value people. Because you don't know their tomorrow. Today you speak low on the youth of Zambia and the celebrities. Tomorrow, CNN, BBC or whoever will invite them for a big event where they'll be celebrated for what they did. The fact remains that history was made. We made history. And during this COVID-19, anyway, who wants to have a protest where you physically go? when we're supposed to be spacing ourselves. So it's a good thing and I applaud each and every person who took part. You did well. Don't listen to people who don't know the purpose of this protest. It has made an impact and the president has seen it. He was probably watching. His team was watching too. So don't mind what Stella says. 
With that, guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's a girl, Ella Motams, also known as Gelo Wapa Z. See you on my next video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And follow me on all social media platforms. It's simply at Lulu Motam.